Hey guys, so it's been ages since I've done a video. Today is the 1st of February. February? February. Yeah, I've been procrastinating on doing videos. I just didn't have the energy or motivation or just... I've had so much going on that I didn't know where to start with the videos. And I have tried like maybe a few weeks ago and then I just gave up on it and just never bothered to re-record so I'm hopefully I'm hopefully I can't really talk this is why I don't want to record so hopefully I will be able to upload this video I'm trying not to make it too long there's just so many things that I want to tell you guys but it's hard so I was thinking I'll talk about some stuff here and there, but I was wondering if you guys want to know what else has been going on with me, um, put a comment down below and um, put some questions, anything, personal, whatever, about my weight, life, whatever, and I can answer that way. Maybe that would be easier for me, I don't know. Okay, so, as you can tell, I'm still obese. I'm overweight. This has probably been the highest I have been in years. Because the last three years, I've been stuck in the 150s, and the last time I checked, I was in the 170s. And right now, I'm probably more than that. Um, this time around, being depressed really depressed about my personal life, relationships, life with work, people, family, financial, just everything. I turned to food. Last time I was depressed, I couldn't eat. I was so sad I couldn't eat. This time I'm just eating pretty much everything and I'm just eating out and by myself. So, I was unemployed for at least a whole month um, after that job that I quit. I accepted a position kind of quickly just because I wanted to get the F out of other place. Um, when I got there, it wasn't what I was expecting. just didn't feel right. It was very uncomfortable. And I don't know if I rushed into that new job or... I was just still going through so much shit with the last place that someone said I was clouded. My mind was clouded and I couldn't think. And sadly to say, I emailed a letter of resignation, which I don't recommend you doing because most major companies, it's a two-week. That's like a law. And if you don't, you're pretty much, um, you can't apply for that company in the near future. But, um... I was never expecting to apply there anyway, but whatever, mistakes, but FYI, don't ever do that. Thank God there were, like, another major hospital that you can apply to. I don't know. So, I was there for only a week, couldn't do it, and after that, that's when it just, everything seemed to crumble down and down. Finding a job is hard, even, you know, I'm in a medical field. Finding the right job is hard. Finding a job that you can fit into, that you feel like you can do it. And then, of course, every new job, like I know it, we all know it, it's going to be hard at the beginning. But with me, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate, if you set your foot there and for a couple days or even the first day, if you don't feel comfortable, you just know it. You just have this instinct. And that's kind of like how I am. But maybe I could have been stronger. I could have given it much more time and effort and give it a chance. But it is the way it is. I can't go back. But with me, if I don't feel right or uncomfortable, I will walk out. I don't care what anybody says. I just can't do it no matter how much people think it's good for me. I should stay. I, I, I won't. So... I spent like a whole month trying to find a job and went to one interview to one interview to places that 
didn't even offer like benefits or anything and horrible pay and with my years of experience I'm like no and then this was kind of like my last call and I gave it a shot except this place it requires me to be a certified medical assistant so that was a big risk that I took and the manager knowing that she still wanted to hire me just because my interview went well and she liked my personality um, so I accepted the job and the pay was actually higher than my last job and the job that I initially quit after a week so yay so now I'm stuck with trying to pass a test and also going to that job it's simple it's um just cardiology um, pretty much the MAs there don't do shit and I was nervous because I was afraid that I would be losing some clinical skills just because I worked in internal medicine slash urgent care type setting so I did pretty much everything from injections to calling prescriptions, tons of paperwork, assisting the doctors, just pretty much everything in the scope of medicine besides like a registered nurse duties. I'm just a medical assistant. So this job is okay. It's not stressful. It's simple. I could deal. But the other issue is that going to this job, I'm trying to make it short story about what's going on, it's like I'm so tired of going to the job where there's just drama and stuff and for me as a new person when I walk into the office my first day there I noticed it right away like there's so much attitude there's so much tension not with me yet but one person is saying so much bad stuff about this other person the other person is warning me about this person I'm like what the hell is that and then there's this lady in the front office who apparently everyone hates there too and she's warning me like the first week that if I were smart I wouldn't stay here because three girls right before I came in quit within the two months because they were bullied one of them gave a two-week notice one of them the one right before me left without a notice because apparently she said the girls made her feel like shit and bullied her and all that stuff and I'm like so I was nervous and every day working there it's simple but I just noticed the things right away and then yeah on the first last week I kind of broke down and this other girl who's kind of fake was like what's wrong is it her and then I just blurred out like what's her problem and that's a girl that was trying to like watch out for me and warn me and stuff. And then all of a sudden she walks in and closes the door on us and like, I heard my name, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, am I going to be called into the manager now? Because apparently she she got called in with manager in the past many times over situations like this. I don't know, like, why does this happen to me? So anyway, manager calls me in too. And then all of a sudden she... It was like, come on, let's all go out and talk with each other, with everybody, because there's tension going on, blah, blah, blah. But have in mind, the first week, I went up to the manager and spoke to him private and said, you know what, I don't think this job is right for me. I feel like there's a lot of tension, and I don't want to be a part of it, and people are, like, talking about each other, and it's not healthy, and I'm tired, stuff like this. And that was only because I kind of got offered a different job by my house, which is in the hood, but thinking about it. I kind of decided to deal with this place right now just because the manager kind of begged me and said please to give it a chance and even though she doesn't know that I know that fucking three people left this damn place so I'm sorry it sounds confusing but you guys get the idea right so yeah that's where I am right now um, and I'm working at Burlington um, um, very dysfunctional emotionally, psychologically, because when I didn't have my regular job, you know, I returned back to Burlington. Um, I initially quit a while back just because I was tired, exhausted, and then 
I broke up with my ex and my ex was there. So I didn't think that coming back to Burlington, seeing him would do anything for me. I wouldn't have any issues or problems or any feelings. But ever since I started Burlington back two months ago, all his emotions happened. And I started to kind of like text my ex a lot, trying to talk to him and yada yada so many times. And he kind of said he doesn't want to be with me anymore. I kept texting. I think the last time I texted it was like a week ago. And before that, it's like every few weeks. And I think I have a regret just because I feel that I pretty much threw away a really good relationship. Just because I wanted so much from him. I had high expectations of him because of what my exes made me feel or do in the past. And I used that against him. Yes, he wasn't perfect, nor was I. But I expected him to have a house, to be financially stable, to be at a better, like, high corporate job or at least similar to me and him working at Burlington wasn't good enough for me and I didn't want to settle so I took it the wrong way and there were some things that he did that I wasn't cool with but the other things about him now that I don't have him anymore I realized he was a great guy and I feel kind of bad because I threw that away because I'm 31 and it's hard meeting people and now I'm afraid of being alone and I wish I could just turn back time but it sucks because when I broke up with him he really 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 was sad and he begged me and when I finally went to talk to him when he asked me to I was just such in pain and for once it felt good to give a guy attitude that really wanted me and I didn't give him the day and time and every time he would text me I would just be so mean via text to the point that he finally gave up on me and now he's moved on so now that I'm the one that's like kind of like begging and again I'm begging so I'm desperate I gotta taste my own medicine so now once in a blue moon when I see him at work it hurts I miss him and I do love him but there's nothing I can do and it sucks and I'm okay now because I pretty much gave my all trying to ask him back I wrote him a long letter I don't even know if he read it it's so hard for me to just have a private conversation with him at work because we're both busy but it's not like he treats me bad I don't treat him bad at work or anything we're, we're professional if I need him he's there stuff like that but if it's like me coming up to him but hey what's up what's going on that doesn't happen and he says he doesn't hate me but he just doesn't want to talk to me so that's my other issue and my other guy friend he's back in my life and yeah I'm just all over the place like I'm older now I mean I'm not the perfect girl I'm not a, a goody two-shoe things happen and <clears throat> he when he's around he makes me happy when he decides to disappear it hurts but at this point in my life, with him and my ex, the emotional feelings are gone. Or maybe I'm crazy, but I don't know. So that's what's been going on. I've been going out by myself, hanging with my two kind of close co-workers at Burlington. That's about it. And I've been going out to eat by myself a lot. At lunchtime, I eat out around my new job because it's like freaking McDonald's and Sonic's and Skyline Chili and stuff. It's like tons of stuff around that place, which is sad because I'm depressed and lonely and lost and confused. And the easiest way is to eat out and order. And the weather's been bad. Like one day it's a blizzard, then it's raining, then it stopped, then it's wet ground. And yep. Went to 
the movies by myself and I start going to the movies with my friends and yeah and I've just been talking to one of my YouTube subscribers who I think is a blessing to me too two people actually and one of them I just talk literally every day she's in New York you know you are hey means a lot to me and it's kind of crazy how I don't have real friends here and I'm just serious I'm just talking about this but um yeah a lot of people have been wondering where the hell I've been and where the fuck I've been <laughs> here I am just trying to work trying to survive and I don't know when I'm gonna get there like I'm still here and you know People have been leaving some really hateful comments, calling me a bitch, calling me ugly, calling me a fat ass, and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really get to me, but sometimes when you're going through shit, hearing those things, seeing those things, reading it, it's like, you know, like, but at the same time, it's like, you sit on a computer and writing bad stuff about people. How does that make you feel? I'm sure your parents didn't raise you like that unless your parents are the same way. This is awful. How would you feel if you're the one getting that? I mean, if you're strong, hey, kudos to you, but I don't understand these people. It makes no damn sense. Yeah, for me to open up like this and pretty much Telling the whole world about my life, knowing that probably like a fine member out there probably have seen my videos and seeing me struggle and probably laughing about me. That's some of the risks that I think about sometimes too, but yeah. So, yeah. Ask me questions. I love to answer like a Q and A type thing. I like doing this stuff because I like watching these kind of videos. So I'm gonna stop. So basically, I'm still fat, lazy with the job, unhappy at a job, and working two jobs, and confused with love and life, lost love, regret love. I should be taking my taking care of myself, but that's hard too. Loving yourself is very hard too, and that's been a struggle for me for a very long time. And being lonely sucks, and wanting the comfort that seeking comfort from the wrong person is. In the moment, it feels good. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. I hope all is well. I love you guys. Thank you to my new subscribers, and I will try to vlog some more, whether if it's weight related or job, which you guys still like to hear, like once a week or I don't know, knowing how I am. So. Yep. Alright guys, that's all. <laughs>